Hi, um, this is my parking brake in my diesel uh, motorhome. Right now it's set so that the vehicle parking brake is actuated. But you can't really tell that to unactuate it, you actually push it in. And that um, adds air and releases the brake. And then when you pull it out, that actually releases the air and uh, sets and allows the uh, parking brake to set. The problem I have with this is that it's easy to bump. And it, you can't visually see that easily, whether it's set or not. When this is pushed in, the vehicle, if it's not on uh, level ground, will start rolling. Um, I've had that happen a few times, and it's, it's, uh, it's a little disconcerting, to say the least. There is no park in the transmission like you would have like in an automobile. So this is the only thing that keeps the, uh, the, the uh, vehicle parked. So what I did was I created a little block of wood here. I cut this off the end of a 2x4. Now you can buy something like this online. They, uh, there's several companies that uh, have these for uh, various different um, setups. But they're rather pricey. I think there's a patent on them right now or something. So it's like 50 or $60 for what amounts to a milled piece of steel. Um, they do have locks on them. So what I found is I could just cut off a piece of uh, 2x4 here, and uh, the critical dimension here, here, I'll put this on here, is obviously this thickness right here. But if you get it just right, now there's no possibility of pushing that in. And when that block is on there, I can clearly tell at a glance that my parking brake is set. Um, all I did was cut off the end of a 2x4 and fooled around with it until I got it the right thickness. And then I had to cut a recess, which I just did with a, a chisel. Again, there's no artful work here. doesn't require special tools. Um, I cut a notch out, and then I had to cut a recess to clear this um, nut here. Now I just slide it on, turn it up like that, and now I can see that my parking brake is set.